Cole? Only one. Well, we're getting there. People are starting to okay. sign up. Yeah, go for it. Marcel. Wow, what a day. And we finally arrived. And yo, an exciting day we've had in the, in the Mara. We've just come across from the, from the reserve side. And finally, we are, we're on the triangle side. And so thanks so much uh, for hosting us. Guys, this is a, a Herd Tracker broadcast live from and beyond Kichwa, Tender, uh, Kichwa Tembu Tented Camp. And Machdel Dempis, the general manager, is here with us, welcoming us. Thanks so much for having us. You know, you guys have, hospitality-wise, you are probably the best in the business. You know, we've, we've been around your camps all over in uh, Southern and East Africa. And uh, every time we arrive at, at your properties, it's a, it's a warm welcome. Thanks so much for that. No, it's lovely to have you. We've been waiting for you for a while. But yeah. let's walk through and you come and see Thanks our so small much. piece of heaven, our little bit of private Mara here in Antion. Sure. So this is just the entrance to our camp. We've got our reception here on my left hand side. So, Jumbo! Some of the staff waiting over there. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got an awesome safari shop just here to my right. Sure. We're good shopping for the ladies. <laughs> so. Luckily, we didn't bring any of those. Ach, darling, it's fine. We will just use your credit card. Be flexible like that. <laughs> swap, swap. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And then, yes, behind me. Wow, what a view. Is yeah, what is makes good. us special. So guys, um, we've come to, to and beyond uh, for a very specific reason. We've, we've come to the quieter side of the, of the greater uh, Masai Mara. So we, we're on the Mara Triangle side now. And as you know, if you followed us over the last couple of days, a lot of the herds have crossed um, at a few crossing points, but um, main crossing point and cemetery crossing point in particular into the Mara. And, and as you know, they, they're probably going to go and I have some minerals there uh, at the Salt Lick. Um, and we've heard reports on, on her tracker and other contributors that uh, we've got quite a few wildebeest in the area. So pretty exciting. Yes, no, it is for us also, we've had guests that came back after a long morning drive and had awesome river crossings today. There was a very big crossing that happened today. So the crossings are still happening. We're into October, but they're still happening. So wow. happy days for everybody. Well, that's so, good news, great. eh? Yeah. yeah, it's the crossing we missed that we waited for this morning and then uh, work kind of uh, got in the way, you know, so, um, but thirsty work that is and uh, we, we arrived here with welcome drinks and, and that's absolutely how things happen at uh, and beyond. Um, you guys, uh, you've been with and beyond for a while? Yes, I've joined and beyond in 99 at and beyond Pinda Private Game Reserve. Okay. Was there for a number of years and then moved to and beyond Matetsi in Zimbabwe okay. and then came here in 2011. So I've been with the company just over 16 years. Wow. Awesome company to work for. Happy smiles all the time. Good, <laughs> good, good staff retention it seems, you know. Yeah, you know, that's not, I'm not sure if it's good for them or for us, but we're not going anywhere. So <laughs> they stuck with us. No, that's good. <laughs> no, awesome company. No, I must say, you know, uh, coming from, from most uh, other properties, you know, um, one thing that's, that's really well known is how much and beyond invests in, in their people, you know, and, and I'm absolutely s I'm sure it's the same uh, on the Kenyan side. Um, and that's one thing I, you know, I really, really want to highlight is that uh, uh, and beyond is invested in their staff. Uh, from top to bottom throughout you know, and, and for a long, long time. So and um, that is absolutely wonderful. So if you said that you uh, only started working here yesterday, it would have been far different. We've got, we've got a group of eighth graders from North Carolina that are watching this. Oh, wow. So, wow. so say hi to them, guys. Hi, guys. Oh, How are you going? Hello, this North is, Carolina. <laughs> this is a quick chance. Is anyone in that class uh, has a question about Kenya or the Maasai Mara, you're welcome wanna, to ask it. And we want to know what is their favorite animal. Yeah, yeah what's, we're asking them questions. Yeah, I love that. I <laughs> Put up your hand. Huh? <laughs> we can have a pop quiz. A Collective name for, uh, let's make a, a start with the easier one than the giraffes. What do you think, Carl? Uh, lion. Collective noun of for. Lions. Yeah, for zebra. It's a hard oh. one. Let's see if I anyone. I just say, you start with a hard one. Go with me. I'm much nicer yeah, than Carl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the collective name for lions? A whole heap of lions. What do we call them? Hmm. Let's see if anyone comes back with an answer. Exactly. <laughs> then we'll move on to a little bit more difficult one oh, from wow, there. There's a lovely bush back. Oh, oh yeah. can we cool. see that? I'm going to see if I can zoom in here. And a sax monkey on the roof there. Uh, oh, that's so great. And there's a couple of, uh, is that some of your guests just yeah, walking by? Yeah, some of our guests that's coming through because we're just heading up the hill for a sundowner cocktail. Oh, nice. We've got quite a number of guests in the house at the moment. 
So we're going to take them out for a special sundowner cocktail. So as you can so. see, you, do, you don't have to go far. I mean, uh, yeah, you can have a game drive in the camp. Absolutely. <laughs> so another thing is, and uh, uh, a good reason why we've come to visit is, is uh, because of uh, photographic safaris. Yes. Um, we've got Stuart, Stuart over here. Do you want to join us, Stuart? Indeed, yes. Um, <laughs> We've, you've seen Stuart quite a few times over the last uh, few days. Stuart, you must be Isn't over the moon. Eh? Way for the camera? Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you get the camera? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've even got you a professional photographer. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe introduce Stuart for, for the viewers. Stuart uh, Price um, uh, from MakeItKenya.com. Yes, indeed. Uh, Make It Kenya has made this whole broadcast possible, so we want to thank you and your colleagues for all the hard work that you've that you've done, and you, you would have seen a lot of Stuart's Im images uh, published and posted over the last few days. Stuart, you must be happy that you, we've uh, learned that we have a specialized photographic vehicle. Yes, uh, it sounds great. It's, it's something I hadn't experienced before myself, um, so we're going to look into that and see how, we, uh, see how we get on a vehicle that specially caters for photographers yeah. in the field, from beginner level to a professional level, I, begin, yeah. I believe. So that's going to be really great. And, and what better location than, than the Masai Mara, where we've been all week? They got it right. They got pride of lions. Oh, wow. awesome. Okay, next one. Uh, Zebras. Let's Zebra. Yeah. Okay. That, uh, Google will no, no, no Googling. No yeah. Googling. No Googling. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, so, so, wow, we're going to go out with Jackson, isn't it? Uh, yes, you will be, be your guide that will take care of you. is called Jackson tonight. One of our local guides from the local Maasai community. So also, if any of the eighth graders, keep your eyes out for Jackson. Mm -hmm. And if you've got any question about the Maasai and the tribe itself or the culture, have it ready. And you can, can ask Jackson those questions as well. So yes, he'll be taking you out tomorrow. Um, and also along the line, you will be, be able to see the, the photography vehicle. As, yes, you haven't seen it, but so has not anybody else either yeah, because it is very special. One of our very special extras that we do offer here yeah. at Kichwa and we also in future will have offered in Tanzania. More pictures, right? More pictures. Yes. Yes. Then let us know and we'll see yeah. if we can yes. take some yeah. over the next few days for you. Let us know. It makes my, my uh, Jackson and myself makes our job a little harder. But uh, pushback would be great because we have one right there. Yes. <laughs> no, that's cheating. That's easy. <laughs> Guys, this, this broadcast, uh, again, is, uh, is uh, brought to us by Make It Kenya. Uh, and then we have uh, very special people that's hosting us. And beyond Kichwa Tembu Tented Camp and the and Beyond brand, um, thank you very much for your kind hospitality. Uh, even though we were a little bit late today and uh, we've still been uh, received with open arms and, and, and so forth. And, and we really want to thank you, um, you and, and everyone at and Beyond for, for all the effort and having us uh, here for the next uh, three nights or so. No, perfect. Yeah. Thanks. We love you and we will back on air again soon. Yeah, soon. But for now, we need to go up the hill and have some fun and we will show you footage of what happens at the Sundowner Cocktail a bit later. Absolutely. It's awesome. uh, Carl Roof uh, signing off our first broadcast from Kichwa Tembu. We'll be back uh, perhaps a little bit later. Um, Mara Triangle, Kichwa Tembu, uh, Tented Camp. We'll chat to you a little bit later.